Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will be talking about distributing our application to customers. We will be creating a distribution package for our uh, widget app that we have created and we will see how we can do that. So in order to give you an idea it will be like this, it will be a zip file and the zip file will contain a lib folder and a bin folder. and uh, the application and the same zip can be given to windows as well as linux customers uh, this is an sh file uh, that can be used in linux environment to run the program and this is a bat file that can be used to run the application in windows environment for example if i want to start the application or start the widget i simply have to double click on the bat file and the application will be started so let us see how we can do that if you are thinking about creating a jar file and then converting it, converting it into a uh, exe file then uh, this tutorial does not cover that if you would like to learn more about it you can visit my youtube channel and there is a video called how to make exe for java application with the launch4j uh, in this video i have explained how to convert a java fx application into an exe file so uh, you can follow that one in this tutorial we'll be talking about building a distribution zip uh, with java fx 14 and it will be containing these two folders it will be containing a lib folder that contains all the libraries that is required and the main jar itself and it will contain a bin and the bin will be containing two files one for running the application in linux environment and one for running the application in windows environment it is a bad file and if you double click on the bad file it will start the application right away so let us see how we can do that uh, in order to build that i am going to open the project uh, let me close the unnecessary windows and go back to the build.gradle section so if you look at the build.gradle section you don't have to make any changes you just have to go to the gradle section I'll go to the distribution distribution section and select the dist zip option so once you run the dist zip option it will take a while to complete the build once it is completed the build will be available inside build distributions and there you can see your zip file so let me open the distributions folder and there you can see that i have a covid widget fx 1.0 snapshot dot zip this 1.0 snapshot the version information uh, is taken from this gradle's version section you can change that if you want and let me open this distribution and let me unzip this one there are multiple problems that we have to address here first of all uh, when i try to run this program i can run it uh, directly by double clicking but it won't start it has some problems so if I try to run it from here, COVID widget fx .bat, then you can see that there is an error that is my Java is old version. So it is taking the Java from my system path and in my system path variable, my Java version is 1.8, that is uh, Java 8. The application is written in Java fx 14, so it requires at least Java 11 so i have to change that in order to change that you can either change your path variable in your system or you could go to the notepad plus plus and here you can provide the java version manually uh, you just have to search for java.exe and you will find that it is defined here java exe equals java.exe and if i give my correct path there let's see what happens in my system the java is situated at c jdk and i am going to use jdk 14 this path so i can simply paste it here and uh, c jdk jdk 14 win java.exe now my path is correct java version is correct let me try running the application again so dot slash covid widget fx and you can now see an error java fx runtime components are missing and are required to run this application 
so i was searching a lot to find a solution for this problem because everything is correct because java fx is included as a dependency and the java fx libraries are available in my lib section but still somehow it is showing this error so while i was searching for a solution i came across this issue it is currently reported in the open jdk jfx package and it is in open state which means it is still not fixed and there you can see that the error is real so there is a quick hack to make the uh, application work that is to create a class with a public static void main without extending javafx application so the idea is to create a new main class and call the javafx class from that main class so let's see how we can do that so coming back to our project uh, let me go to source main java com.gen encoder and if you look at the launch class this is our main class it extends application and that is the root cause of the problem so in order to fix that what we have to do is to create another main class and for that i am going to move my launch class to goa package now here i have to add a public static void main method as well so public static void main then here i can call launch args so that is a change we have to make in the launch class then we need to make a main new main class here so i'm going to create a new main class and here i'm going to add a public static void main again and rather than starting the launch application directly we can call launch dot main with args so what is happening here is previously we were directly starting this class javafx class which was causing the problem now we are starting a normal main class normal java class and from there we are manually invoking the javafx class so in order to uh, make things correct uh, i have to update the build.cradle file here it is com.genuinecoder.launch that is no longer valid i have to make it to com.genuinecoder.main because main is our new main class to make sure everything is correct let me just uh, run the program and as you as you can see uh, the uh, application is running correctly from this side now let us build our project let me delete the existing existing distribution that i created before okay uh, let me go to gradle and then run this to zip now let me open the directory showing explorer there is already an extracted uh, zip uh, i have to remove it now let me extract the zip extract to snapshot okay now coming back here i have to again change the java location because in my system there are uh, multiple java versions so here instead of the java.exe i have to change it to okay so now i have the correct java version set all i have to do is to run this bad file so let me open the powershell window and test it whether it is working covid with jetfx and as you can see it is now working pretty fine now one more we have one more problem if you try to run this uh, program by double clicking on this this command window won't close it will be there forever until we exit the application i mean that is really bad because we are building a widget and there is this big command window visible all the time it is really inconvenient so we have to find a way to get rid of that luckily there is an option first of all uh, we have to make changes in the bad file again uh, you have to go to the java exe section where we set the path to java exe and here instead of java.exe you have to change this to java.w.exe and you have to make one more change this is where the program actually start execution this is where the java w.exe with the default option with the main class name everything is called so here you have to add a start option and add an empty quoted string this will make the program execute in a separate process and the cmd will close as low, as soon as the program is started so let me show you how that works if i double click on this one you can see that a black window appeared and uh, got invisible immediately i mean the cmd started and then started the java program then it exited itself immediately so now we have 
no problem of having that CMD window opened always. So that's it guys, that's about building a distribution for this project. Now if you want to share this build with your friends, uh, you have to make sure that you reset the Java path. Uh, currently for me this is the path of Java 14 in my system but in their system it will be different. One option is to make the Java home set in the class path of, of their system or edit this section and give the exact path of latest JDK. You, It is not mandatory to have JDK 14, any version above Java 11 is totally fine. So that's it guys, uh, that's about packaging your application uh, for uh, sending it to your customers. I hope this video helped you, uh, I will see you on the next one.